Okay, video number two. Part one of becoming an owner operator. Now there's a lot of good videos on YouTube on how to do it. Well, they get out whiteboards and all that. I know. You're gonna find out real quick. <laughs> That's it. I I just don't I'm not set up to do that, man. This is kind of like a, a hillbilly production. So search those out you know becoming an owner operator they go through all the steps was that uh david mcgill he does a great job with that uh you know even with all the years in the game i picked up things from him uh, i got a ton of friends i got great resources so uh, maybe i'll do some videos on own authority even though i'm not gonna start my own authority right right away probably not ever uh this late in in, in my career unless my kids want to get into trucking. I'm going to do another video on that. Your own authority or leasing on to someone. Pros and cons. Um, but that will be another video. But we'll do this. Step number one. Whether you're going to get your own authority or you're going to lease on to someone, it doesn't matter. You have to do this. You have to set up a business name. You have to get an LLC or an S Corp. Now, which one you get is going to be very dependent on your tax situation. So <clears throat> pay an accountant. Uh, sit down with one, and uh, some will even do it for free, a free consultation. So uh, get it with a good CPA and make that decision, LLC <coughs> or S Corp, INC. So uh, I did an LLC just because I'm not going to run that hard. And there's a money break, and they can go over all that with you. If, you, if you're, you know, hundred grand or less a year after everything to pay taxes on LLC is pretty much going to be your way to go in my opinion uh, I'll move this over here uh, but again talk to your uh, CPA so uh, set your business up LLC or uh, S Corp uh, number two get an EIN number is that right tax number uh, you're gonna need that for sure if you do your own authority uh, if you lease on to somebody, most of the time you're going to need that, sometimes not, just depending on how the lease is set up. <clears throat> but uh, I would get it anyways uh, because it can help you um, parts, you know, pay taxes on you can do You can do some stuff with it. It's a little expensive. I got mine and uh, it was like $250 or something. It's a federal tax ID. Uh, you'll also need it to set up a, a straight business account uh, without having your personal name tied to it. So. That's step number one. Go get your uh, LLC or S Corp and get uh, an EIN number. That's what you got to do first to uh, jump into the owner operator game. Uh, that's about all I want to cover. I'm going to try to keep these videos short. Some might get long, but uh, I know people's attention span ain't that great. So some of these videos, uh, like Just Trucking, I love that guy, man. He's cool. Um, I he could put some more clothes on his wife. <laughs> you know, that's just me. But I'm sure a lot of you guys enjoy that. That's cool. But, uh, uh, man, some of his videos are an hour, hour and a half long. I just can't do it. It's too long for me, man. I don't have that kind of time. So I see the clickbait and what he's got top, and I try to watch and fast forward to get to what I wanted to see in that video. I just can't find it. It's so stinking long. Hour plus. But, hey, big YouTuber, right? He's got a lot of you guys subscribed. So good for him, man. So, there goes some squirrels again. Sorry about that. I got a, a attention deficit syndrome or something. Anyways, uh, S Corp. Man, I guess I could have cleaned up and made myself a little prettier for this video. Uh, yeah, I can't. I almost can't wait to get back to work. I've been off about three months, so it's kind of nice. But now I'm starting to get bored, so. Uh, tell you that whole story and how this all came out in a future video so there you go step number one to becoming an owner operator if that's the way you're going to go go get your uh, business name and tax stuff set up I don't know what the next video I think the next video will be the big debate between getting your own authority or leasing on somewhere and when I say leasing on not not a uh, lease purchase Let's just clear that up right away. Never do that. Never. Terrible. No mega carrier lease purchase programs. Uh, <clears throat> it's a joke. I mean, it, you're not an owner-operator if you're doing that. 
I, I don't even care if you make more money doing it. It's just you're tying yourself to a job for a few bucks. You you, you have no say of that truck. You it, you ever see anybody you know with their truck that they paid off leased on somewhere else? No. It, it's just a bad deal. We can go over that more later, but uh, don't don't do the mega carrier lease purchase. It's I don't like them. They've never been good. That's just one man's opinion, I'm sure. I might get some hate on that. But if you're going to become an owner-operator, become a real owner-operator where you go down and buy your own truck, uh, where either you pay cash for it or you finance it through a bank in your name, not through any company. It's just you and the bank, and then you take it and run it under your own authority or you lease it on with someone. And... Uh, before I forget to mention it in a video, uh, if you're gonna go lease on with someone, I would, I would buy your own plates. Uh, just a quick little tip there. Most companies, which you lease on, will say, "Oh, we'll take care of your plates," or <clears throat> you know, like Landstar. I think you might have to do it through theirs. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll do a Landstar video. I'm not, not <laughs> oh man, we're getting way off topic here. Anyways, uh, it. it They'll do it where you can buy the plates and they'll take so much a week or whatever. And that's all fine and dandy until you decide to quit and you, you're stuck somewhere. Uh, make sure you quit when you're home. Or, or what happens if they fire you? You can't you can't just drive that truck unregistered uh, across the country. So uh, I would suggest you plate the truck yourself. Uh, if they fire you, you want to quit or drop the trailer and you're a thousand miles from home, that's fine. You just call up whoever progressive and get you... A, a bobtail insurance for 150 bucks to get home, and you're and you're on your way. Uh, if if they take your plates away, uh, or discontinue them in the system, or whatever they do, cancel them, uh, you know, you're gonna make it to the first scale house and you're done. So, uh, plate the truck yourself. Right, we're about seven minutes on this video, so. Just to recap, go get your LLC or S corp and an EIN tax number. First step to becoming an owner-operator. All right, now. You guys have a good day. God bless you. Bye now.